Mid-September 2020, it felt like driving through soup, a 6,000-foot-thick blanket of wildfire smoke. It was so bad we visited this well-equipped air quality monitoring station on East Marginal Way to see just what we were breathing. Inside, this tape tells the story, a series of gray dots every hour starting a new dot. And even here in industrial South Seattle, a normal tape without wildfire smoke looks almost clean. Clem Midge is an air monitoring specialist, but it gets even worse. And in these cups, or a day's worth of soot. And they start, you know, by being clean and white, of course. It was clean and yeah, white. Yeah, it was okay. clean and white at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, yeah, no, it's, yeah, crazy. This is just how it looks like after sampling 24 hours of, uh, of air filled with smoke. I've never seen anything that dark before. The wildfire smoke is so dense, it's actually changing the weather. Eric Sanich is a forecaster with the Puget Sound Clean Air Agency. And the map told last year's story, hazardous and dangerous air is symbolized by red dots around the agency's territory. The worst in its history. But 2020 wasn't a one-off. This month, the smoke came back. Four of the past five years have seen wildfire smoke events in western Washington, with the exception of 2019 but 2020 really sticks in the memories of people like Mark Simonson. Not go outside in the best part of the summer was just excruciating. Fortunately, this season, there haven't been too many bad days here on the ground where we breathe. But if you go up, you can see the haze, haze we've lived with for weeks. This is a west-wide problem. You know, summer is by no means over right? Yeah. Either by the calendar or by the climatology. Nick Bond is the state's climatologist, and in his UW office, we look at where the fire and smoke hazards are this day. The thing about smoke is that it travels far. The smoke events from the 12th and 13th of August came up from California, over from eastern Washington, and south from British Columbia. These days, the west is drier, longer, the fires bigger, making even more smoke that envelops us all. The trends are unmistakable. And certainly by something like the middle of this century, you know, it's going to be a different place than it used to be. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.